pop into Trisha Paytas. It's the part of the show where we come to life. Um, you know, we got some new Trisha Paytas stuff to catch up with. You know, she's been really hot and heavy recently. She's been getting a couple things like, I don't know if they're tricks, if they're real, if she's getting brand deals. Recently, she was on like another fucking, you know, an old schoolian type of thing, a magazine. Magazines are dead. Rolling Stones is fucking just on the internet now. I don't think that, uh. I don't think that, uh, you know, Rolling Stones is actual, like, physical copy anymore. I think Rolling Stones went out of business, okay? When Rolling Stones goes out of business, what do you have left? The Plain Magazine? Kim says S10. Uh, Cody said, I mean, uh, 44 says, I want that S24. I've had my S21 Plus for two years. I've dropped it a million times. It's never broke. I did this thing at my job where I just... I, sometimes I try to see, you know, how much rage I can get out on my phone. No, I, it's been dropped. Cracked immediately. It had a, OL, a QLED screen, but... It's crap. Okay, it's disgusting. It's all over your hands. Phones are not that important. I've heard nothing but good things about that too, Kim. I don't know what we're talking about. Yeah, I've heard the S10 for some reason. I was reading on Samsung on Reddit, and they were talking about how good the audio quality is on an S10. That's all I want. I want a phone that has good audio, you know, wirelessly. I don't wear, you know, wire. I don't put plugs in my ears. I don't wire my headphones. That's outdated shit. So I was going to look something up. I totally forgot what I was fucking doing. I've lost my mind, my marbles. Anywho, Trisha Paytas is, uh, yeah, Rolling Stone. Rolling Stone, I think, isn't he? I think Rolling Stone went out of business. Now they're just online. They just have their, you know, their tabloids on the website. Let's just check real quick. Uh, out of business. Uh, let's see. Uh, they're not out of business. It's just how I'm going to write this. Out of business. Uh, how Mick Jagger kept the Rolling Stone business. I don't know what the fuck is going on here. Why Rolling Stones is, it won't sell their... Whatever. This is bullshit. Now it's just showing me the band Rolling Stones. Fuck! Anywho, Trisha Paytas hopped onto another cover of a magazine. Makes me sick. Makes us all sick. And she's been getting some, you know, some sponsorship stuff recently. Last time we watched her, she was shaking her fat gut, you know, in Las Vegas, hanging out with Archward Gardward. She was hanging out with Danny Osmond. Osmond Gold right here. Okay. And, uh, you know, she's pretty close to having the baby, I would assume. I don't know. You know, I'm, every day I'm like, is it even real? Is it even real? Because, you know, there hasn't really been shit. I, we haven't seen her or like, you know, because she films everything. We haven't seen hundreds of vlogs of her getting tired on the stairs, going up to the doctor, getting her stomach checked out. This could be a fucking giant ruse. All right. Anywho, uh... Trisha, she's got some new sponsorships. We're going to look into that. Here's her latest coverage right now. Thinking about how iconic it would be to have Amanda, Amanda, I don't know what this is, on my podcast. Trisha's got that rat shit, you know, fucking solid white trash bun up here. This thing is rat shit. If it's dry, it looks like it come out. Like, you know, her hair is more flammable than, like, you know, like, va you know, any type of, like, hard liquor, dude. Her shit would go up like a fucking stack of leaves. So she thinks she has like, you know, sometimes I think Trisha sits in her bed and takes 500,000 pictures first thing in the morning, hoping for the best, and then goes into like the AI filtration system, slenders her neck up. Her neck, if it was that thin, it would break, okay? Because of her fucking fat ass head. Spread the word. Spread the word. Anywho, just posting this, posting that. Let's see what the next thing is. Here she is, Rolling Stone. So she had, you know, one of her favorite things happen. You know, Rolling Stones is a big-ass magazine. Having this type of coverage has got her fucking, you know, spinning, topsy-turvy. It could have happened a while ago. This might not just be like a recent thing. Trisha just couldn't spill the beans until, you know, the fucking magazine let it out. So here she is. is the, most people would call this their wet dream. This is really fucking gross. So not only is Trisha, like, you know, pregnant... She's boasting her fat fucking disgusting stomach all over like Rolling Stone magazine. Now, if this is in the magazine, this just goes to show this is why Nickelodeon went so long without giving a fuck about the child abuse charges or the allegations. Okay? Because, of, you know, Hollywood's just constantly promoting like nudity closer and closer to children. Right in the grasp of them. Why would you have Trisha's fucking fat fucking gut, no pants on, 
Okay, her feet green with stink. Just letting her stomach hang out like, you know, a fucking goddamn Winnebago. You know, nude as fuck in her child's playroom. I mean, you know, Malibu's just sitting there watching. What is this shit? Talk to the iconic Trisha Paytas, back up, about motherhood, YouTube cancellation, fucking Z-listers. So they have, like, I think Trisha Paytas has, like, a stan or somebody that's on the payroll at, uh, you know, Rolling Stone. I think that, you know, she's got fans every fucking which away. This is from E.J. Dickinson, so I think we should look into E.J. Dickinson eventually. There is no link to this person, which isn't cool. Trisha should be, you know, doing a shout-out to the people that, you know, throw her in their stories. And High School Musical and how it was a dream come true. You know, all good topics, right? All things that we could give a fuck about. Here's Trisha celebrating French fry burrito. Gross. You know, long, long gummy worms in here. Real disgusting. Here she is, you know, promoting this once again. Um, I like how she's still hiding. You know, Trisha does have like that, you know, stupid face going on right now. She kind of looks a lot like the, the Hillbillies vlog channel we watched earlier. Trisha doesn't realize, like, the more alteration they do to her shit, she looks bizarre, okay? You look fucking weird. And, uh, you know, if they're going to pinpoint, like, certain highlights and blurs the texture, they should also, like, go up here and show up the uh, groundbreaking work they did to hide Trisha's recent mark. She's had this stain on her forehead for months now. She's brought it up. It has its own name. It's got its own life. I think it gets up in the morning. It showers. It talks to her. And it's completely hidden in all these fucking pictures, which is lying to an audience. And if you want to, like, you know, really sell something, you know, you should just be really utilizing, like, before and after pictures of this is me and this is me now. And I think people would call bullshit. They probably wouldn't buy it. I mean, I don't know who's buying $40 fucking lacquer for your face. This ain't good stuff. This is probably shit. Okay, you'd put it next to your Reader's Digest in the bathroom and forget about it. It's really crappy, crappy shit. It's called buy filler, right? Anywho, uh, Julie says, "I wonder who, who, if Oscar hooked her up with the interview. He probably didn't, or he probably I don't know. I think Trisha is does a lot. Like she probably has Moses just message everybody, mass message every day, all day long, constantly fucking you know trying to like get somebody to like you know catch on the reel and you know and just be like." All right, we'll, we'll look into it. We'll see if we can have you on, like, an interview or something. I don't think it's going to help the numbers, though. I really doubt it is. I think these people are deeply confused on how unpopular she is. Now, uh, she's going to take people in her house. She can't keep her fucking clothes on for the life of her. Imagine the only thing you can do for a magazine is take your shirt off and let your disgusting jonks hang out with the stink coming from them. I mean, dude. And she's got this wig on, Valley of the Dolls type of bob bullshit. Look at this crap. Busting out her classic things. She can't stop showing people, like, you know, her collection of bedazzled... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That scared the fuck out of me. She can't stop showing people her collection of bedazzled stuff in her house. So we'll hop onto Twitter. We'll see what she's got going on here. Probably nothing new, nothing but crap. I did think this was kind of funny. I saw that Trisha Paytas was, you know, just lummoxed out. You know, she's constantly trying to do these, whoa, 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 whoa. God damn it, dude. Thank God that's got like a blur over it. Now, I have to be very careful when I open Twitter sometimes because I already saw like, you know, one of Trisha's dildoing videos, but it's got, actually you can't see it because my webcam's over it. I mean, not my webcam, but my camera source. But she thinks that she's, uh, you know, the same as a lot of these other celebrities. She tries to redo, reenact, you know, do a reinterpretation of, like, iconic pictures in her mind. Here's uh, psychopaths Britney Spears looking bizarre, okay? Britney Spears, back when she was younger, okay, modeling for Rolling Stones or something. Now Trish is taking the opportunity to break a fucking another big chair in the house. Let, you know, pull out her finest flanks. Her legs are looking huge today. They're looking massive. Her gut's hanging out. You know, her belly button has decided to completely push itself out because of the fat. And she's like, she's really feeling herself. Her nasty jonks, her nipples, nowhere in sight because they're, they've are they been put on wrong. And uh, that's pretty much it. So let's catch, let's catch up. What do you guys want to watch? We have a couple new stuff. We have some new... 
coverage on here. We have, you know, the Rolling Stone magazine of the month. Trisha, you know, she's celebrating right now. She's looking really Ursula right now. She's looking like Ursula from the movie Flower. Or what is it called? Can't even remember now. The Little Mermaid. Looking fat and evil. She's got a floral shirt on. Her neck, everything here is wider than ever. It's looking terrible right now, man. This is looking southern. This is the type of, like, you know, chest you'd see down at the trailer park. So the first thing she does to get ready for any interview or just after it, celebrate, she does it either way, okay? Before and after, she eats to the max. It's her only way to, like, cope with the pressure, the stress, the anxiety, the excitement. She's always got to pat her stomach with hundreds of calories of sandwiches and fries and cheese. She does have a new episode of her podcast, Jeffree Star Gets Shady, JoJo Sawa Threatens Rebrand, and Mr. Beast Caught Scamming. Here's Trisha. She's got her Las Vegas pink on. This is She's fresh from probably the Donny Osmond cosplay of a lifetime. So she might be a little bit spicy. We're going to watch this because it has Oscar in it. I fucking love to catch up with Oscar. So Please get in that factory, turn that chocolate yourself, stock it in the stores. You don't have to give them SQ codes, nothing. Just go in there and start selling. Sell it outside the store, actually, like the little Girl Scouts. Yeah, do that if you want to get it. If you really care about your fans wanting your chocolate, you would do that. You would go stand outside Ralph's and sell it. I would love to see that, actually. What the hell's going on here? JT saying, check your DMs. Cody, check your DMs. What the hell's going on? Hey guys, welcome back to Just Trish. I just had so many Thin Mint cookies and they get in your teeth. That's why I went into the thing. I was like, there's so many Thin Mints in my teeth right now. I had a peanut butter sandwich, ruffles, and Thin Mints, and a glass of milk. So I think it was pretty substantial. Jesus Christ. This is a real step-by-step -step look. This is the 90s look. Trisha's looking slathered. I was. Right we now. had leftover pizza. I almost had that, but because we're having Little Caesars for our Patreon today, our little puffs. What are they called again? Those little... Cheesy puffs? Cheesy puffs, oh, I don't know. I forget what they're called, but you... everyone... Yeah, right. What the fuck are you, bro? You look like you're going, to your da going with dad to work today. You look like a fucking child. Look at this piece of shit. Hat's too big for his head. He's about to get engulfed in the hat. He's looking wretched. He's looking old as hell right here. Look at the bottom of his mouth. Every time it wears off, it's looking bad every fucking time. When his goo and his injections start to, like, you know, get a little bit thin around the edges and they start to wear off, dissipate, his whole fucking face falls apart. He starts to look like Rick Moranis now, opposed to back then. He's looking like he could get roughed up, okay? love them so i saw it too and i didn't think it was that big of a deal until you texted me and you're like oh no these are out and i was like oh okay because like i knew they were like i saw them on my page but i didn't think they were like viral and you're like we have to try these I, I just kept coming so like bobby lee like trisha paytas they both i thought i knew white nails for some reason trisha paytas has decided to put on the worst shade of nail color she could get because she's always damaging she's always digging in a bag of chips always itching in her ass you know she's the nastiest person we got so I'm surprised she kept the white nails. It could show a lot of Duke stains. It could show any mark, any stain. Oh, okay. Cause, like, I knew they were, like, I saw them on my page, but I didn't think they were, like, viral. And you're like, we have to try these I, I just kept coming up and up and up. And all the tweets about them had, like, 3 million views. And I was like, I guess this oh. is, like, a big deal. People say it's, like, when the Popeyes are... Was it the Popeyes, the chicken sandwich? Yes. Like, it's similar to that. This really? Craze. Yeah. People live for it. And I didn't even know we had a little Caesar Close to us, but it's actually on DoorDash. So we're going to... I'm not gonna lie. I don't know how much I can handle it. My neck is hurting so bad. Uh, we're gonna fight through. Do a little Little Caesars cheesy puff on our Patreon. Shout out Patreon. <laughs> Patreon.com slash Just Trish. We just posted a Fortnite one that y'all love. Let's check Trish's Patreon numbers real quick. Uh, Trisha's got a Patreon. It's not looking good compared to the amount of people that watch and consume her shit, her, her uh, content. You know, it doesn't even have the same numbers her YouTube does. And you would have think, like, their YouTube channel, her vlogs, with the little bit of numbers she gets left on there, you would have think those are the diehard fans. These are the people that, you know, are willing to pay for her content. I don't think, like, people really are into the Just Trish podcast. 
Last we checked, she had, you know, quite a couple thousand members, but like only a fewer thousand paid members. So now she has 17,678 members. If we go to the about, hopefully she hasn't hit it. She's only got about 6,534 members, which if we take that to the lowest tier, the lowest tier cost on this Patreon, which is probably what people are buying. Most of our audience is fucking foolish and has no money. And it, it goes from, um, okay, I can't pull that up. Uh, it goes from $5 a month to $10, double the fun, and then the monthly headshot, $50 a month, and then you can be a fucking producer and waste all your money on, you know, things that you'll never get read. She, she'll she never read your name on here. You know, at this point, you're forgotten about. Wasting this $100 is like the worst thing you could ever, I mean, it's pretty much like ripping it up or burning your cash. So if we go to the least amount of money, just $5 a month, do a couple, you know, multiplication steps. Let's just see how much she makes minimum. Five times. And I like to be petty like this. I like to see how much money people are, more money people are making than me. Uh, the hell is this? Um, hold on. 6,534. Okay, so she's making at least $32,670 a month. Okay. So, pretty pathetic. Pretty pathetic stuff. Let's go into this. Back to this thing. Of Gino, we were <laughs> crushing it. Killing it, you might say. For Women's History Month. I love it. Good job on the title. <laughs> and Pokimane is randomly in there as if she's... I'm like... And we're following each other and she might come on the podcast. I was like, oh my gosh, she's going to think like... What are you doing? You're trying to use my image. <laughs> had nothing to do with it, but did we mention her at least? We did. Okay. Yeah, that's why I got the idea. Go and buy like, her cookies <laughs> and her Stanley Cup coming out soon. We love Pokemon, and um, I think she's coming on the podcast soon. So slay. Patreon.com slash Just Trish. We do two bonus videos. We do an extra about 45 minutes to an hour of the podcast right after this podcast is over, plus a bonus video on Saturdays. Um, this week, you'll get Little Caesars. Shay just got my email. We're on emailing terms. No, I just, I don't know what. Hopefully, this doesn't bite me in the butt. Okay. Shay's going to send hundreds of viruses. There's cheesy puffs, and I'm super excited about it. And we also have tears. We have a headshot tier. We have a new headshot this month. It's not here oh yet. God, shut up. Get to the fucking part. Yeah, you were. Some Fortnite. You were the MVP. You were the victory royale. Spoiler well, alert. I think because Callie was, like, focused on you. God damn it, dude. I have to. I some Somebody's got to get the footage of this fucking, this uh, Fortnite extravaganza. I think that, um, I think that uh, Trisha Paytas and the whole gang were pretending to play the game. Uh, I think. <laughs> I don't think they were playing. When we saw it, look how small your mouth is. What the fuck is that bullshit? <laughs> oh, the red lips, the bloody lips. Smallest teeth. He's got child, children teeth. Chucky's teeth. Oh, I hate Oscar, man. You look like shit. This is what you need to have on your Twitter. Spread the word. She would definitely your profile picture. Like out slay me if she was like really playing. You guys but. should really play, and I'll just just end up dying or something, <laughs> and just leave me there. She kept saving me and wrapping me up and bandaging me, and I was just like, just leave me because I would love to see. That'd be fun. I love it. I think that's yeah. She she really gets into it. She really loves it. We'll have to set up another gaming day. Yes, for sure. Yeah, I doubt it. I don't think anybody was playing. I thought the sister was like on the Nintendo Switch pretending to play. I don't think she was really actually playing the game. We saw the picture of it. None of them looked like they were playing. Trisha had the controller upside down, playing Fortnite, holding it like this, holding it like this. No, not even. She was pretending. Air buttoning. I've been playing the fucking game. You got me fucked up. And then Oscar, he was the only one plugged into the game system. Sure. Let us know what you want to see. And they couldn't figure out how to get on the internet. I think they took, like, the Rad Brad or, like, some of these, like, YouTube gaming clips and they just like mashed it together and threw a webcam at the bottom pretending they were playing the game see us play maybe something like a little simple i don't mind fortnite like i feel like i'm getting a little bit better at it but um if you like fortnite let us know but i don't know maybe some some other game i don't know i'm up down for anything you like sims minecraft yes i love sims minecraft is cursed right now i think why but yeah what does that even mean so this is like a little bit of tea they got this is obviously not conversations any of them know anything about which you know I could say the same. I've never played The Sims. I played Roller Coaster Tycoon. I was a murderer on there. I'd break the roller coaster. 
My whole park would be covered in vomit. Okay, I make the roller coaster shoot off, go into the the lake. My death, you know, my death toll up in there was fucking heaven sent. Uh, oh, the the people weren't showing up to my park. Cat my boys. crafters, yeah. There's actually but I don't think they know anything about this fucking shit. You know, There's so I, many. Oscar doesn't, even though Oscar's fucking lame and he's a nerd and he did cosplay of the Hunger Games, I don't think he knows how to play a video I game. I can't keep up with it. And it's Spread like, Mr. Beast. Oh, we're trying, feast did you bring the Feastables? Yes, I did bring the Feastables. You got the Feastables from Target. Mm -hmm. So we're going to see if they hold up to the quality that they gave in the PR package. But Mr. Beast edited someone out. Yes, George is not found. Literally. He is <laughs> not, not where to be feastables. found. <laughs> I don't even know anything about it. Can we talk about it or no? No, what are you fucking? What I don't even know what the fuck we're talking about. I can't believe this is a topic. Like yeah, I don't know that. Who are you? Why are there children on here? What the fuck? <laughs> I don't even know. Anything. She says, "Now you're my internet hubby. I got your email. Don't be sending me uh penis pictures. No penis pictures. Okay." Queen says, "Nate's shy. Can it be shipped to the U.S.? What's the coupon?" Think about it. Can we talk about it or no? Like the yeah, allegations. I don't know that much about it. I don't care. I, don't I guess really we have to care. say alleged. But she alleges claims that um, she got drunk. Her and her friends got drunk in a. That's a fucking kid. What is this? This is a child. Or does she have like progeria? Or is she a wheelchair team. person? And she, oh. I guess we have to say alleged. But she alleges claims that um, she got drunk. Her and her friends got drunk in a hotel room with mm -hmm. George is not found, like the Minecraft boys. And then she, he started like cuddling her and like allegedly put his hand like under her shirt oh, I saw oh wow really gross okay and trish is like i love it you know trish loves this type of shit she's laughing already right. it is yeah i think in this day and age you really just gotta ask permission for every single thing and I, oh yeah okay I that's not a bad thing i used to be like oh my gosh it'd be so did you ask malibu if she wanted to be posted all over the fucking internet it should be against a lot of you know i think we're gonna have to live in like a minority report type of future where everybody's fucking we need to have we need to have fucking, you know, intel everywhere. Especially, like, laws that say, like, if you post your kid on the internet without their consent, you're going to the clink. You're going to the gulag. Hard to be a boy, like, you know, whatever. Because you don't know. You don't know the signs. But maybe just ask. Uh, Bigfoot says, Oscar's Botox and Ozempics is pissing off. Oscar don't got no Botox. His shit's looking deflated right now. Look at him right here. Look at this fucking piece of shit. If that's Botox, they fucking what? Then I didn't know what would you look like without it. Yeah, go by her. Like his Botox just makes him look like a fat fucking bear. Nothing to do with it, but did we mention her at least? We did. Okay. Yeah, that's we what I got. Her. Hey, like this is this. Is this your boy? Your boyfriend? Fucking, I bet he hates you, dude. I bet he punches you at night. He probably kicks you off the bed. Okay, we're gonna skip a little bit further. What's this Wilbert Soot allegations? Sometimes I do a little bit on the back, like a little like tap on the back, yeah. but I should probably too do it too because you just never know. And like respectfully. See, here's both Bigfoot's coming in. He says, I'm really good at reading people and she's close to telling Oscar, I think we're going in a different direction, which that means take it fucking off, you know, see ya. Okay, you know, put it right in the back of his head. And they're going to like push him in like a pre-made, you know, coffin in the backyard. Moses is into making, he's he's a coffin maker now. So they dug the hole. Oscar, all they have to do is push him into it and then close him up for the end of time. Of course. So. Which it does seem like that. She does honestly seem very bored and uninterested in, in, you know, doing this part of the show whenever she has Oscar on. This is the last person she wants to see. She wants the guest. She wants to do two guests a week now. She's got what we call she caught the contagious virus of, you know, having people that, you know, have, you know, the similar social status as her. Oscar ain't shit. He's a target worker. Oh, um, that's wild. That's sad. Mm -hmm. Anybody else in the gamer community or do we not want to call them well, out? I don't know. The other one was Wilbur's us? suit that we kind of. Anna says uh, she takes a maternity break and he takes a break for good. I talked about last week with shovel Shelby. Oh. Um, I like to hit him over the head with a shovel. Which that one was you know, Minecraft. Another crazy one too, because they were dating for I think maybe two years or so, um, and then she had come forward and basically said that he was, um, I guess, just abusive because he had like a alleged. Look at her, look at her. She fucking hates this motherfucker. She can't stand him. She's sickened by this piece of shit. He's vile to he her. He has like a biting fetish, but he was mm. biting her so hard. Look at her, look at her lips. What are those? 
that she, allegedly that like she literally would have like the bruises and like the i don't give a fuck this is the dumbest fucking story ever pink cloud campaign yay what's this vegas yes this is what i want i want to hear all about it um vegas Instagram trip. page tiktok on my page as well we did a collab um that'd be great because i could use all the support and it's because yeah i think oscar's the type of person that'd be snooping in the in the you know the bathroom garbage can looking for lunch i don't think trisha feeds him she eats in front of him like the trunchbull and matilda looks over at him with a mouthful of hershey kisses and fucking gets back to eating them. And Oscar has to sit there like a fucking abused animal. So you guys. She probably doesn't even let him out either. She probably keeps the place sealed, throws him in a hot room for 30 minutes to decontamination zone, which is just pretty much Trisha's uh, incinerator. That I got this opportunity because. You know, it makes him, you know, she scars him every time he leaves. Lately, when I've been doing all these magazines and now this, it's like, I know, I don't know what it is, but I'm very thankful and grateful. It's because we have so many lovely people that are just like supportive and see the change, want to be part of the change. And they, and honestly, the positive feedback makes me want to be a better person every day. Not to sound like I'm running for like politics, but it's like, I just want to be better. Like, I don't want to mess up at all. I don't want to like go back to old trolling ways. I just want to be the better, best person. No, she calls trolling. No, that's just like you. Trisha, you were never a troll. You were just a fucking unstable psycho. Okay. Mentally ill Trisha Paytas and deeply pretending, okay? I think that she, she she has some serious problems, doesn't care to fucking change it at all, which can make it stronger and make your, you know, you a worse person because you have no concern about, you know, helping yourself. No care about anybody in the world. Like right now, you're kind of like the same person you were back then because you don't even speak up about your crying you because you guys have really elevated me and i really mean that from the bottom of my heart so sincerely um and we also have to talk about uh which like you know this is the worst sin you can have what the fuck is this goddamn hairline this is like elvis presley shit on the side she has this arm shooting out tentacle um speaking of award show the award show season's not over we have an award i want <laughs> an award <true. laughs> my husband won it with me too moses how are you over there by the way love this outfit um, well, look, you don't even know what you're wearing. Okay, Moses is fucking high as shit off of lack of sleep. Great, I just came back from. Show you the Donny Osmond sick dude. Moses, this motherfucker has lost every bit of like happiness he could have ever had in his entire life. It's gone. Wow. Wait. <laughs> okay, they took him to the Greasy Vegas tour. The Donny Osmond Joseph. Hamburger spectacular. I mean, I can't imagine how many f they were just probably passing around baskets of tater tots up in this bitch. <laughs> this experience was heavier than hell. <laughs> all of Donny Osmond's cr cronies, all of fans are old ladies on walkers. And then there's Trisha coming in. Who would have thought she's the best looking person there? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Love that. Why did you make that noise? Did something hurt when you popped up? Oh, no, no. I just like... It's, it's very oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, no. Wow, he looks like he's very rad right now. Looks like he's been hanging out in the sun. We're not taking his blood pressure medicine. One or the oh, two. Oh, I have been. <laughs> you have a Hawaiian, the Hawaiian so, yeah. shirt with the... The, 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 sh the show would actually be a lot better just from the forehead perspective. Jealous. Yeah, the luau on the weekend. We had the Joseph before. I mean, wow. we went... Full on four shows in two days. We saw four shows in two days. Yeah. All done. Okay, and look at his face. Joseph before. I mean, wow. we went full on four shows in two days. We saw four shows in two days. Yeah. All Donny has been. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Look at Trish. It looks even worse now. Imagine this. If I came home, my mom was like, "Guess what I did this weekend." I'd, I'd burn the house down if I saw a picture of her standing next to Donnie Arsman. <laughs> hours. I think that was like two and a half hours. His show's an hour and a half. Look at him. Here he is back here getting cucked once again. Okay. Donnie Osmond had his hands down the cookie jar the whole weekend. He's just sitting there. Don't see anything. Oh, what is that? Uh, birds in the room all fucking weekend long. I, I can't take put my because if he pushes his eyes down a little bit, he'll fucking kill himself. Because Trisha's once again cucking him in front of thousands and thousands of people. 
Look how stupid you look. Yeah, Friday, went to see him do a podcast at the Harris Show. Everything was at Harris. Shout out. Everything's response. I wish we were sponsored by Harris. Uh, but they do have great rooms at affordable prices. I will tell you that. They, they're, they, I guess, cheap. Can you use the word cheap? I think cheap's good. Affordable. That's more affordable. PR okay. friendly. Uh, he knows. Not PR. Oscar friendly. Oscar has to live on what we would call a fixed income. <laughs> like they have some cheap ass rooms there. And they right, the do. Price is, the room is not cheap. The price is affordable. <laughs> the price is affordable. Right. That's right. You're actually getting quality for that money. I mean, they have rooms as low as like $30, which is like crazy. Oh my God. That's like a fucking roach motel. Trisha went in there fucking all night eating bugs off the ground. It was a blast. Um, uh, It's great. Malibu likes to run back and forth between the rooms. We got a little kid. What do you mean? Why is Malibu running up and down and through rooms? What the fuck are you talking about? So Malibu came with them on this fucking disgusting experience, which goes to show her mom must have been somewhere down in the old hotel room when her and Moses were lollygalling, lollygagging, gallivanting all around Las Vegas doing every type of awake drug they got. All right? It's sweet. <laughs> And, like, they stayed in what we would call just a drug addict's, like, you know, on the outskirts of Vegas type of uh, bed and breakfast. Their suites are really affordable. If you want to get a nice suite, they're really affordable. I love Harrah's. Like, I'm not I'm not sponsored, so I can just say this. Like, I feel like Harrah's is kind of like, ugh, Harrah's. You know what I mean? But, like, honestly, we stayed there the past, like, three or four times, and it's a vibe. It's safe. Right before we left, I saw on TikTok um, the girl that stayed at the Rio. Don't stay at the Rio because uh, they, I guess, like, they, the girl at the Rio... Don't stay at the Rio because uh, they, I guess, like TikTok, um, the girl that stayed at the Rio. Don't stay at the Rio because uh, they, I guess, like they, the girl, the, there was a family and they would like break into their rooms while they were sleeping and they stole like $6,000 worth of stuff. Oh my God. Now, good thing Trisha doesn't have $6,000 of stuff. Okay. God. And then they asked for she brought her cheapest Amazon costume there. Rio for like camera footage and like, oh, we don't have camera. And she wears like a fucking fake wedding ring. Who the fuck wears a fake version of their wedding ring? That's just pretty much like not being married. That's how Trisha gets away with cheating all the time. She's like, it ain't, it, I'm not married if I'm not wearing the wedding ring. Okay. This is a prop. It's a fucking prop. It ain't real. It's fake. Brown. Hey, Tesla. And I, I think I'm pretty sure Rio said something along the lines like, um, "It had to be someone. You must have left your door unlocked or something." Basically, like not taking any like accountability for it. But it happened to like two other people too. And someone's like, "Yeah, this happened to me at Rio too." So I was like so scared. So we got a door jammer and we got the stroller. So you got a door jammer. So they put like Malibu in front of the door all night. They jammed her tires into the front door. Oh, he put the door jammer. Well, I guess we just used a stroller. We didn't take the door jammer. I ordered the door jammer. It didn't come. But we took the stroller and put it underneath. So just a little life hack to mm. not. Do you ever do that at the, ho no, the hotels? I've heard. Of some How does that even work? How does that even work? How, how open are the bottom of the door? They were probably never able to get out. They probably had to go out the fucking window. Trisha said, move the dumpster by the window, back window. I'll jump into it. That's how we get out. They put the stroller under the door. Oscar's like, okay. And he's so confused. His scars are showing up. His scars, his scars is nasty, nasty. I mean, he's looking like Rorschach off of the Watchmen type of freakish cuts down here some vegas horror stories in the hotels lately I yeah think it was maybe the mgm maybe um there was and this sounds like a trisha paytas lie just like how every time she goes to a fast food place hundreds of high school kids are laughing at her in the drive it's like a, a scorpion stung a guy in his like uh nutsack i think <gasps> <laughs> yeah Trisha's like, give me a, you know, because Trisha would try to suck it out. In the hotel room? Yeah. Oh my in God. his bed. And then there was like a Poison. bed bug infestation. Oh, and, bed yeah. bug. She's like, no problem. We got him here. Check it out. Trisha pulls open her eyelid. There's hundreds of bed bugs sleeping under her eyes. Uh, always are happening in Vegas. Wild. I Wild. Think, I think that was the MGM, I think. Or which. I feel like Trisha does have bugs just crawling around up in this shit hole because she's always eating and leaving food everywhere in the house. I think they they have either. You know, Orkin on 24-hour call. The whole house smells like poison constantly because of Trisha. She can't fucking throw her food out, wash a dish. There's, like, you know, delicious treats for insects and cock cockroaches all around. And, uh, you know, I wouldn't be shocked if, like, half of this house smells like, you know, the, you know one of our most toxic poisons we got. Everyone is the pyramid. I 
Oh, Luxor. Luxor. Oh, maybe it's that. Well, one. Luxor, you hear so many horror stories. I heard one too on TikTok, on TikTok from Luxor. And a uh, similar story. She said she was there for like a convention and someone was like trying to get in the room, but they had like a key or something. So she thought it was like a worker. A lot of times, it allegedly, they're like the employees they're saying because they're like they have like a key to try to get in. And yeah. so. Because usually they're allowed to come in when you're in oh, there. She's. Yeah, I don't know. I've heard. Yeah, I've heard some crazy stuff. I was really scared when we went. I was just like, not scared, but I was just, I get a little. This sounds like fucking lies, dude. Okay. Sounds like fucking bullshit. A little paranoid, so I was just like, let me. Like, Trisha's just trying to come up with, like, you know, trying to be dramatic because the fucking weekend in Vegas was one giant argument. I, I know, I do think about that. I think about that when they, I'm like, can you not put, I never say it, but I'm like, oh my God, they're, because they do it right away. And I'm like, oh, that's so funny. That is true. Someone's like, oh, you didn't go to the Oscars, but you will go out for this. And I was like, heck yeah, this was my. You weren't invited. What the fuck? You weren't even invited to the Oscars. The Oscars. We got custom outfits made. Mm -hmm. We uh, we won Wanted the award. award. Show them the award. This, yeah. this, only, I mean, this is only one of a kind. Well, this is it's one of two, happen. technically. We're the <laughs> right, second but winner. The, the show itself and the right. competition will never happen again. Well, not in 2024. Okay, so eventually this will be droven like like a steak, a vampire steak, right into Mal or Moses's chest. Or anyways, congratulations, winner of best costume. Donnie's Joseph sing along 2024. And look at what is this picture up here? Is this Donnie Osmond looking like Jesus Christ? <laughs> what the fuck is this? Right. Oh, he did. We won the award, you guys. We won the award. Does a does this thing talk to you or something? Does it have like a little sound clip in it? And I bet you this was a three hundred. You had to pay for the award, three hundred dollars. Oh, we wanted to get her excited for the next day because yeah, she was going to see. Yeah, my mom came with me to the podcast. Feel, uh, feel recorded podcast. I hate done. when people do that though. When they like secretly <laughs> take a picture of you, that's literally the most like rudest, most annoying honestly, thing. I mean, I think. Yeah, because you can't edit it, right? Where's the picture? I think it's not as. Bad. What do they do? Find her at the fucking aquarium. Trisha was trying to like eat the fish out of the fucking thing. I could see Trisha at the top of like you know where the penguins are at the aquarium. And she's trying to eat the fish they're throwing. I talk about Barbie because I'm SAG and the SAG strike. Like, I heard you're not supposed to talk about movies. And then the next episode, you're talking about all these shows that you love. And I was like, oh, my God. Someone scared me. Someone told me. Sugar, like, a couple weeks. Oh, I sugar. Think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She was like, because we were doing a Barbie thing, like, right before. And then she's like, oh, we have to, we can't mention Barbie movie. And I was like, okay, you're right. SAG is expensive to rejoin, okay? I need to keep my good standing with them, especially if I'm doing TV shows and movies. And everything. You're not. What are you talking about? You've never done one fucking movie. I don't think Trisha's been in one goddamn movie. This is called The Fool's Ear Touch. Okay? Like, you know, you do anything you can to, like, you know, when you're in the middle of lying or you look fucking stupid, you have to escape the eyes of, you know, judgment around you. Especially Oscar. He's like, you ain't never been in no damn movie. What movie you been in? Everything. You were in Tim and Eric Awesome Show. Everybody in Tim and Eric Awesome Show are people like that, that they like they get from like insane like like these like uh insanity uh infirmatories or some shit. I like was people that are roaming around like the the quack job hospital. They go in there, they borrow them for their day, give them a couple lines to read, feed them a lunch, and he send them on their way. Trisha Paytas was an actor in a Tim and Eric, you know, skit. Yeah. <laughs> I was, was funny. I was scared at the beginning of this talk. I said, like, "Can't this get?" I still, sometimes I still do. Like I said, I want to be a better person. You guys make me want to be better. So I try. I try to be cool with everybody. Any guests that want anything edited out, I'm like, ah, absolutely. Even though I'm like, oh no, but that's the good tea of it all. Um, anything else about Vegas? Nope, that's it. Next story. Like Trisha was probably on the Vegas Strip trying to like hang out with a bunch of young TikTok TikTokers coming in. High five. Nobody wanted anything to do with her. I could see Trisha, like, you know, in one of them random, like, TikTok dance videos. She's doing nothing like the other people are doing. She can't even fucking keep up with their footwork. What is this? I don't care about this. My neck hurts so bad right now. Let me pull up this. I got to put some lidocaine on my shit. I'll be right back. Earlier, we're like, this is going to be so hot, and the cheese is actually like, melted. So I'm eating lunch today, and we're going to talk about the rolling stone article that came out. <laughs> Um, I had like mixed, uh, mixed opinions about it. Honestly, like truthfully, just like, so like thankful. Like I, 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 I like to say yes, like almost everything. Like I like when anybody wants to interview me for anything, I'm just like, yes, yes, yes. Much less Rolling Stone. I was like, absolutely. Britney Spears has graced the cover so many times. And I was like, absolutely. I want to do Rolling Stone. Um, and then I did the interview and the journalist was really, really nice. And she does a lot of amazing articles for Rolling Stone. And well, that's a lot of cheese fries. Okay. So this is her eat, 
Eat and Talk video, another one of her classics. Just talk about I've been rolling stone this month. She's got the nervous eyes already. Plastic fork, dangerous. It's always dangerous. Okay, it's very easily bitten right through with Trisha. But today she's gonna be talking about her Rolling Stones experience. Like truthfully, just like so like thankful. Like I I, I I like to say yes, like almost everything. Like I like when anybody wants to interview me for anything, I'm just like yes, yes, yes. Much less Rolling Stone. I was like, absolutely. Britney Spears has graced the cover so many times, and I was like, absolutely. I want to do. Jesus Christ! Look at that, all clobbered together. The fries stuck with like you know concrete like goddamn cheese. Rolling Stone. Um, and then I did the interview and the journalist is really, really nice. And she does a lot of amazing articles for Rolling Stone and. And you can see Trisha's makeup's cracking to shit right here. Look at this right here, dude. The scar. Um, I think that she was so nice. And so like. Oh my God, dude. You know, I like to imagine like she leaves this shit on for days at a time and then just like sprays, I don't know, some type of slick, like lacquer. You know, shimmering type of like, I don't know what the fuck she puts on her face. Tries to make it look new, look fresh. Her eyes look terrible. They're green. You know, she's got this shit so caked on. It's breaking off in chunks. I can just see her face shattering like a plate. Wonderful. I felt like I really opened up a lot, but maybe I opened up too much because, um, like, the article is really nice. Like, let me just say, the only thing that, like, made me feel, like, a little weird is just, like, talking about past relationships. There was a couple that were mentioned that I just, like, uh, it just made me feel, off, like, not good at You know, Trisha's got that fat-ass neck right now. You guys said that both of these lumps have two separate names, both of Trisha's tumors or, like, her ribbit box down here. This thing is looking thick, looking like she's got laryngitis. After it, like obviously I could say. Like, dude, that is swollen. I never really looked at it before. That motherfucker has a life of its own. No comment, and I did say no comment to a lot of things, and she was respectful of that, whatever. There's like um, a straight rock up in here, Moses. This is his favorite thing to touch in sex. Um, but yeah, I felt like I was like opening up like too much, and it just almost like made me feel like. Oh my I neck! Back to that time, and I was like, "Why am I going back to that time when I'm like so happy right now? Like I'm currently seven months pregnant." I don't care. She looks like a bit like one of those like grandmothers living on a trailer park in Las Vegas right now. They they have the old. They, they they might be like a waitress at one of these dingy casinos in old Vegas or something. They got wooden saloon doors to go inside. Her hair pink with the nightlife. She's looking real low class right now. This is like a, this is something you'd wear and you're, you know, you got a trailer park with one bedroom, okay? One bedroom. And, uh, you know, you're sitting on the fucking, you're sitting outside on the porch, rocking back and forth in your best dress. This floral pattern bullshit. This might not even be a damn shirt. She could be wearing like some type of disgusting bathrobe. And just like living my best life. And I was just like, oh, I just like wish I wouldn't have talked about like that stuff. But other than that, it was a good article. Yep, Larry's fully, fully out right now. And she bites. Larry, ha I'm talking this motherfucker. This is a golf ball bump right here. But actually, <laughs> it might be Trisha's second throat. You remember how like you'd have those pens when you were younger that you could click to different colors of it? It would come out. I think Trisha's throat works like a like a pistol revolver. Like it, she can just click over to the next throat when she's like got the other one's clogged with food. Mm. So when they reached out, you know, they I love doing the photo shoot aspect of all these magazines. Mm. This is good. So when they reach out, they're like, Oh, just like anything, like casual at home, whatever is you. And I was like, What's more me than cosplay? So I really wanted to do Britney Spears cosplay covers of Rolling Stone. And <laughs> I don't know. I feel like at first they were like kind of unsure of it. So I didn't think they were going to use it because I, I, I really don't even know what the hell you're talking about. I can't get over the gobbling sound. You just hear the goo of this. <laughs> this sounds like you're playing with a bunch of cicadas. I love doing the photo shoot aspect of all these magazines. Mm. This is good. So when they reach out, they're like, oh, just like anything, like casual at home, whatever is you. And I was like, what's more about? They're like, oh, just like anything, like casual. Mm. This is good. I love doing the photo shoot aspect of all these magazines. Mm. This is good. So when they, I love doing the photo shoot aspect of all these magazines. Mm. This is good. So when they reach out, okay, it sounds like she's like fucking playing with tech decks down here. I'm just hearing the ruffling of this shit. How many fries are you digging into, dude? There's like four hundred fucking thousand fries on this one fork right now. It's gonna snap in half the weight. Well, I mean, this isn't a sa house salad, dude. 
stab into a fry and eat it. Look how long she played with this. <clears throat> so when they reached out, you know, they... You know what she's doing? She's eating the dry ones at the bottom so she can have the cheese for last. She's a big fat fucking idiot. She knows what to do. I love doing the photo shoot aspect of all these magazines. They're just playing with it. Okay, as if like four fries weren't enough. She's going in for another bite. She's got to have about 20 fries on one fork. That's good. So when they reach out, they're oh, like, oh, yeah. it's like anything, like casual Jesus. at home, oh, whatever God. is you. And I was like, what's more me than cosplay? So I really wanted to do Britney Spears cosplay covers of Rolling Stone. And <laughs> I don't know. I feel like at first they were like kind of unsure of it. So I didn't think they were going to use it because also I was five months pregnant at the time. So my belly just kind of looked like a belly. Um, so they actually used one in the, oh, on God. the home page. And I thought it was really cool. It is going to be in print, which I thought was like, Absolutely, I'm gonna say yes to that because yeah, I'm pretty. Mm. I think it comes out maybe like next week, a new one. It's not the one with Christian Stewart. So I love going to a bookstore. We always go to Barnes and Noble. We just look through magazines. So I was like, I I'll be that person at the bookstore, at, like <laughs> flipping to my my section and like putting it there because I've done a, a couple print cover magazines, but they're over in the UK. Like, U.S. just doesn't really do print that much. Unless it's like... I just wish somebody would hit her window with, like, a chocolate shake. You know, just somebody drives by, Trisha comes out. The big magazines. Pissed off. You know, she would she would mourn over a, th uh, a wasted chocolate shake. Um, so, I'm really excited to, like, be able to go see it. Anyways. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't, like, a fluff piece by any means. Um, and I can imagine this whole tray right here has she has to have a plank of wood on, or cutting board under it so it doesn't break. This this cardboard ain't strong enough for her wiggling around. The weight of this is too intense. I think the there's probably three or four burgers under this one. This is like one of them deep uh, containers of food. It ain't as like you know it's not just a regular tray. It's a bucket. Other, it was very nice. Like honestly, like she she's gone in on some oh people for God. you know article so i feel like she was really like pretty nice and um like as a mom we just like related a lot and like we did like talk off the record sometimes too and she was just like really really nice so it was great but <laughs> it feels kind of weird because i've been doing so good at like staying in the current staying in the now which i think is the last god every time i always just imagine them like a truck gone wild <laughs> fucking hits her all the food flies into her mouth and for everyone is just like stay in the now because anything in the past is just never good Good or bad, just don't live in the past. Like when you're in the now, it just feels better, especially when the now is thriving. Some of my burger on. Oh my god, my burger. It's really delicious, actually. So good. Um, but yeah, I love how the photos turned out. I actually like love the articles. Like nice, you know. And the writer EJ was like honest with me. She's like, you know, I'm gonna be real, and I gotta show all size. And who the fuck is EJ? Gotta be real. Look at them lips. How much food do you think is left? You know, you know, on her face after. Scrapes it off the uh, shovel. Yeah, smokes it. She probably smokes like the tray after she's done. You know, you, nothing wasted. Just a fluffy some. She did kind of warn me. She's like, I don't know, something like you may not love what I write or something. So I was like a little more nervous, but again, it wasn't like horrible or bad. Um, oh it's God. cool. Like I'm really, I've been sharing it. It's like actually like I'm really flattered. And yeah, you have, of course you have. They could have wrote that you're a dumb bitch. All right. And you're a terrible mom. You'd still put it out there. She'd be like, it ain't it guys. Trust me. It was just a bad day. Honored and Check out me. I'm wait Now that magazine must be hundreds of pounds. Um, you know, Trisha's pictures in it. Double lot crunching now. That's a fucking four four patty burger. She squished it down with the first bite. It looks smaller than what it is. Did acknowledge a lot in the article that she could see like changes. And me, you know, there's times where she's like, oh, I don't know if like a baby in American change. So. Damn, dude, that dump truck just be flying um, out of there. But even the acknowledgement of like subtle little changes, where I can admit where I'm wrong. I can admit where I had like a bad take on something in the past where it's like, I just wouldn't like, I, I like when someone can acknowledge that because I do try really hard in all sincerity. I do try really hard to be like a better person and to be more open-minded and not to be. Oh so yeah. I d Are you? 
Look at her eyes. Every time she says something like that, her eyes get ever so wide because everything hits all at once. She's like, oh, I do try to be a better person. Bitch, you haven't even fucking let the Kleins meet the baby yet. Definitely don't want to try. And like, you know, that is a very petty thing. You know, I don't want to sit here and be like, you know, support of the Kleins. Okay, because they probably got their own demons. They try really hard to be like a... But, like, you know, you're not trying. You haven't done fucking shit different. You just don't say the N-word anymore. Better person. You know, on camera, at least. And to be more open-minded and not to be so closed-minded. I definitely don't want to troll anymore. Um, She references me talking about... And she, and she never trolled. She keeps saying this shit like she was some co comedic fucking Andy Kaufman type of act back then. No, you were... I mean, honey, there, there's, like, a different, like, you know... I can't even fucking about the Netflix movie. I can't even deal with it right about now. About the chicken nugget and being like, I where's my role? Because there was never a troll. She was just extremely unstable and on a lot of drugs. She considers her past trolling. So like in a way that kind of means that she like doesn't think she did anything wrong. So like when it comes to the Hitler stuff, she's like, oh no 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 um, I was trolling. That's my best joke. And she's proud of it. She's smiling about it. She's got that sinister grint. These swollen elephant lips. Multi check as like trolling. So, so like if she considers her past trolling, then, you know, then she really doesn't even think she did anything wrong. So it's kind of hard to spread the word. Depict what you consider trolling. If it's, it's all a joke, joke to her. It's like a cute little troll where it's just like fun and like good humor. like, like bigotry. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So she's going to be like good humor, like bigotry. On Netflix, whatever. Um... But as far as like making people upset, so that's like the last thing I want to do. I do not want to offend anyone. I really try to be more, you know. She's just trying to be more hungry, okay? That's the only way. Truly, I just want to be better. And like for my daughter, for sure, I do not want to embarrass her. I do not want to have any. Well, you've already done the worst. You like literally like fucking promoted dildoing videos like all over your fucking Twitter with your child right under it. Okay, you you know you just put out a fucking magazine. Imagine later on in life, people are like, "Is your mom that fat fucking hog?" Trish, you've already done the worst. Meeting. You can't even scrub the past. You're gonna have to send her to like military school, or send her, you know, let her be adopted into a new family, somebody that cares, or homeschool her. Because no matter what, you're gonna look worse and worse with age. Look at you right now. Look at this fucking head. Look at the size of you. And you're only going to get bigger and meaner. Eventually, Trisha's one thing that has kept her together was like that slight relevancy. When it disappears, you're going to really find out who this person is. You don't know who somebody is until they're a small ant in this world. Okay? We didn't know her back then. Nobody fucking knows her, really. Except for like, you know, liar people. Liars and liars. All her friends, liars. They lie for each other. We don't know the real person. When she ain't got no money, when she doesn't have any fame, that's when the real person comes out. Things are cool because she has so much to talk about. Oh, I'm on a podcast. I'm in Rolling Stones. Wait until you're not. Then talk to us about how much you, how much more care you care about changing. You know. Tell me about your manifestation journey. Post my daughter's birth that could ever embarrass her or be like mom why would you think that whatever like i want her to live in a better world i want to be a better world truly however when people do acknowledge that like oh you know we can see some growth some whatever this car kind of moves sometimes um like i, I just want to what do you mean the car what does that even mean is it in park it's better because she just say the car just moves sometimes you know what the fuck some growth some whatever this car kind of moves sometimes um like i no, it's probably you. You're on an incline. You weigh 7,000 pounds. The brakes are breaking. I just want to be better because people are entertained now by me just being me without having to be like mean, nasty, offensive, whatever. And that like inspires me. And her hair looks like, uh, what's that stuff called? Those Gogurt? You ever seen what Gogurts look like? Gogurt, go the Gogurt goo. Look at that Gogurt, bro. Gogurts. You know, the little fucking squeezy thing with yogurt inside? what it looks like let me see if we can get some images of the goo or her hair just kind of looks like that's it right here this disgusting looking like uh what's that stuff called um silly putty look oh god need to just continue to be better and getting these great opportunities rolling stone 
I just did a beauty campaign for beauty creations. I'm going to do a whole video about that for the pink cloud, pink, um, setting powder and just other stuff that has been, you know, coming my way. I've been just so grateful. Uh, John says she sounds extremely manic in this. What sent her off the edge this time? I think a lot of things too. When the more she starts to like talk about when she has these, what you would call in the car eating experiences, it's when she's her most unwell. Okay. Nobody really like, you know, escapes from their family so much so that like, look at this guy back here. What kind of fucking person's in that car? What is this? What is that? <laughs> somebody's watching her and she knows too she's got her fucking eyes at the looking at that she knows i'm only pointing it out because i know how paranoid trish is but she is her most manic right now she gets in the car and starts talking about you know all the good things and all the shit that's happening it's called our biggest cope tour like you don't talk about what's happening we see it right why would you need to explain to us what we already know you post everything on fucking line we know what you're up to what you got your fingers in Right now, she probably ha just got done with like a fucking four week long argument, hiding in the closet, AKA not in the closet, going out and drinking, um, cause it you know, allegedly, or just like being an absent parent. She just tells Moses she's in the closet and then just walks around the house with her eyes closed as if he can't fucking see her stomping around. That way she doesn't have to help out with the chores is like or the kid. I definitely have to fight. To like she does definitely seem very manic. Her eyes are everywhere. She's chomping into this food. She's talking quick. She's, you know, she's got her lips like this. Okay. What's that about? Like, you know, repair my reputation. And I totally will do that till the, till the day I die. Because she just keeps, when she does it, when she has like these manic episodes, she just starts just spitting off a lot of like goobly gosh. Nobody knows what's up. She just starts saying whatever. Everything that's been bothering her all in like a 30 or 12 minute video. Oh, guys, you know, I, you know, and then going on, it always ends up like coming back to the same topic. Okay. The Reddit. She's going to bring that up. She going to bring that up. I, you know, because. Or, you know, just the fact that like she's been canceled and she's a different person. How many times you got to tell us you're a different person? How about do and show instead of say and don't do? Again, if it's not for my career, it's for, right. it's for whatever. You know what I mean? I love entertaining people. I feel like I always be online. It ended in a nice little line. It's like, even if like the internet was gone tomorrow, the world was going to end. Like, I'm sure we see Trisha Paytas like posting about it first. Like, I don't know. It had like, it was, it was, it was. What the fuck does that mean? How would they even see it? That is fucking the dumbest shit I've ever heard in my life. Look how fucking retarded she looks right now. What are you looking at? Nothing? She just said if the world was gone and there was no internet tomorrow, Trisha would be the first person to post on the internet. She didn't realize the, the joke. The world was gonna end. Like, I'm sure we see Trisha Paytas like posting about it first. Like, I don't Yeah, we would. And Trisha's like, yeah, that would be me. What are you gonna be? What are you gonna use a fucking stone? How are you gonna post if there's no internet or the world's gone? I don't know. She's like, like, oh it was, yeah, that's iconic. It was, it was an, it was a pretty nice article, and it, it was, it was cool. And I yeah, they're making fun of you. They're like, look how stupid this idiot is. She just fucking agreed with us, and we told her there's no internet or the world, and she'd be the first one to post when there's no internet or world. Even if like the internet was gone tomorrow, the world was gonna end. Like I'm sure we see Trisha Paytas like posting about it first. Like I don't know. It had like it was, it was, it was an, it was a pretty nice article, and it, it was, sure. it was cool. And I really, I did enjoy meeting the author. We had actually. I actually talked to her years ago about a different article and I didn't even know. I didn't really put two and two together. Mm, okay. It was probably one of her outings, her expose articles. And, um, yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Trisha will be a cockroach. She'll just lay. She can lay anywhere. She just stand up straight. Nothing will affect her fat. Anyways, it was nice that she even wanted to do a piece on me. Like I said, they kind of have to submit the subjects they want to do. And like the fact that it got approved, <laughs> it was very nice. They kind of have to submit the subjects they want to do. And like the fact that it got approved, <laughs> It was very nice. <laughs> oh, man. God damn. <laughs> and she did tell me originally she wanted it to be like a mommy article. But it went a little bit of a different direction. Yeah, it definitely did. There was no word of it. The entire time was you half naked laying on the fucking ground, leaving a leaving a a mark. Mm -hmm. Look at her. Look at her right now. She's like 
What are you doing? Going light speed right now? What are you fucking... Look at her with her eyes. What are you scared? What are you after? fucking you scared? What do I got? She's, now she, what are you looking for? Your gun? I realize don't put me on the homepage, so... <laughs> oh my god. There's nothing there. Imagine, like, getting your fucking makeup done and then just constantly ruining it with food. And then being like, let me make sure it's not fucked up. Bitch, it's fucked up. Get... You got this crack oh, under your eye right now. Mm. Crunch. Damn. Okay, and there's not another burger. She's already looking at the drive through line to see if she can hop back in for seconds. Spread the word. I gotta hop around the desk. Because I really do believe, <clears throat> going back to the mommy base of the article, I think she wrote something along the lines like, I don't know if a baby or something just changes someone automatically. I don't think it does for everyone. I, do, I think it does for most people. Maybe not a full 360, 180, but I do think in general, parents just try to be better for their kids as best they can. Sometimes it doesn't like work out that way, but I'm someone who will always say like a baby will change you completely. My daughter has taught me so much in like her year and a half of life that I'm just like, I'm sure. What'd she teach you? She taught her how to, taught her how to run. I'm someone who will always say, like, a baby will change you completely. Yeah, I'm sure it has. How has it changed you? In what way? I'd like to, like, sit down with her and give her a fucking napkin to write on. Because that would be easier than, you know, giving her a piece of paper and pen. I just give her a ketchup pack and a napkin. I say, write one thing that, that your child has changed in you. Because it seems like, yeah, you've only gotten worse, Right. Like you know, she she's using her kid as like a like a, a prawn and like a checkerboard. Okay, she's using her kid. She's you know, she's used her kid to be even more of a piece of shit. Like imagine like you know stepping into the world of you know, exploiting your child for cash. Okay, because that's what you have done. You have used your daughter as content for you to make money. You made money off of filming your kid. Which is fucking disgusting. That's like me selling my baby videos. Check it out. Here's me without my clothes on. Weird old person. Or, uh, you know, the fact that... You know... Oh my God, I just... I, re I really want this car to fucking just turn on. I, just, I, I'm, I can't keep my mind off this window back here. It's like distracting the fuck out of me. What is that? Daughter has taught me so much and like... But I would like to know what her daughter's like really taught her. Because you haven't changed your eating. You're just staring at a fucking, like, a waterfall of cheese fries. For a year and a half of life that I'm just like... Like, you've gotten fucking fatter. Didn't even... You know, you won't even let, like, family members... Like, you've you married somebody that, you know, you've got, you guys have both both locked arms and, like, you know, a hatred towards, um, you know, the, the Kleins. Which, you know, whatever. I could care less. But, like, it's uh, the ultimate pettiness... Is like, you know, holding like, you know, I, I've known some shitty people in my life, but even the most shitty people I don't think would be like, no, you're never going to meet my kid. Okay. And then just like pretend like nothing's going on with the entire internet knowing the lore behind that while you sit here looking like a fat fucking chipmunk, our fattest chipmunk, stealing all the wood to eat and just pretending like you're a changed person. Look how fucking fat your hands are. You don't even do anything to help anybody. You live in this selfish fucking world. And when's the last time you donated? I don't know. Gone down to a fucking food drive. And you know. Just open your mouth and let people pull out burgers and cheese sandwiches. Or just like taking some money. written, Wrote a check. To maybe an animal organization or anything no, like that. No, my eyes weren't open before. Yeah. Annie says how long uh, till she's putting Malibu in dance classes, singing lessons, running from uh, one audition to the next. Yeah. She'll be like the McCurdy's. Trisha has like this fucked up dream. Okay. Like she looked at her mom like her mom was a failed mother because she didn't push her to do acting classes. She just let Trisha eat all the ho-hos. Okay. While her mom was wasted every night of the day. Right. Does that make sense? Um, but 
Buff Lava says, yes, the clumpo fries. The fries are clumped up. Bigfoot says she had her downfall working with the clients. Now she's rising like a phoenix. You know, one of our not real fucking things. That's a good, that's a good, you know, that's probably the best thing I've heard all night. A lot like Trisha's like, you know, her agreeing with like being the first one to post on the internet when there's no internet. And she's like, yeah, yeah, it's gonna be me. And then, okay. Look at that mouth, bro. That's a hungry hippo. Like, you know, I've seen fucking dump trucks not have that type of, you know, length. The opening the hatch. Okay. That is huge. That is so big. It's a big mouth. And, uh, and you said that she's rising like a phoenix. Phoenix is... Not real in my... Not real in my book. They're fake. So I guess that kind of has back to, like, things in the past and stuff. It just feels like a totally different person and different life, and I wish I had the wisdom back then. Cody says, let them know what time it is, Bigfoot. You know what time it is. It's hunting season. Like do and see things different so i guess like i said like kind of going backwards in the past was kind of like this like weird all right okay about time i was waiting for her to give up with the fork there i how many fries are she's been eating fries for 30 minutes and i'm not talking like nibbling eating chunks of fries i don't know God it's a weird damn, feeling dude. And that's, I wasn't wrong. She's, you know, now the cheese is like fully turned into a chip itself. She's snapping the cheese fries like tater chips at this point. Because I've done so much work to like not be my past, not live in my past, forgive myself for my past oh my and God. all that other stuff. Yeah, while you kill yourself with fucking food. How do you forgive yourself after this? You're not going to go home and fucking just throw up? Like, if I ate this, I'd have to, like, crack the window a little bit going down the highway. Shit out of it. Okay, I couldn't hold my shit together after eating this. I'd have my stomach be churning. It'd I be got churning. Much, my fries got cold. It's not even weirdly craving. It's you want a Gabby DiMartino? What's up, Holly? It's Chick-fil-A. So that I might have to go be out there. I want this frozen. <laughs> <laughs> I've been thinking about it for three What the fuck did she just say? She's going to have dessert at Chick fil A Maybe. after this. It's frozen lemonade, and the only place that you can go get it that has the grocery store to make it is Chick It's another fast food place that you can also get more food. She ain't done. So that I might have to go be at dessert. So I want this. This is how Trisha parties like four or five different fast food places. During the day. Frozen lemonade, I've been thinking about it for three days straight since like Sunday. It's Tuesday now, so like three days straight. So I'm going to go get it. Can you guys come with me? This is a very low cut top for me, so. Yeah, <laughs> like, it's gross. So we did get the frozen lemonade. Oh my God, look at them socks hanging off her chest. <laughs> oh God, do you think there's armpit hair under them junks? Yeesh McGeesh. To me, it kind of just tastes like a... Um, like a lemon milkshake. You guys, <laughs> how did I always go around with just like my boobs hanging out? I did not realize. Yeah, you still do it. What the fuck are you talking about? Your jocks can't stay contained. She's like, how did I always do that? Didn't you just do a fucking photo shoot for Rolling Stern magazine? And go back to fucking Instagram. We can look at, you know, her recent pictures. Your jocks are freshly on display in that too. You know, I could go through all of her pictures. I guarantee you out of every two or three, there's a picture of her junks hanging out. Yeah, look at this shit. Her titties are right here. This is like a Kid Rock. Like, this is something Kid Rock would have in his fucking garage. He'd use it for, like, the bottom of his car when it spits out oils. Okay, you'd use you as like an absorbent. But I mean, you know, your titties are always hanging. If it ain't your titties, it's your fucking fat ass gut. Your titties are always out. Okay, look at this right here. Oh my God. <laughs> look at them saggers. Stretch marks. She's got raptor claws on them. Oh man, take us back in time. All right. As this was so low cut. And even though I'm staying in my car, 
it still feels <laughs> i cover it with my look she got another thing she got more brown she got brownies, brownies. too this is one of the hey, best brownies i've had i always God have to play brownies damn. but this is one of the best these are kind of crumbly this is like really oh my god i can't handle it i mean if i watch her eat one more thing i'm gonna fucking get sick let's see what she's got going on with oh my god this is a fucking dream hey guys what's up waiting in line for my in and out order Okay, so last we left off, she was in this, like, delusion where she was, like, she got 9.5 million views on this, like, I mean, there is no shot that this was organic. She had to have paid for these views. That 9 million views for her, like, in a, like, in a, cat like, a schizophrenic state doing some fucking, like, you know, St. Patty's Day skit, which made no fucking sense at all. She said, hey, traveler, hand me your shield. And then had her hand open like it was the size of a fucking candy bar. And then put it away in her pocket. Really bizarre shit. Hey guys, what's up? Waiting in line for my in and out order. <laughs> Woke up to my interview with Rolling Stone out. <laughs> Says oh, rock uh, control. This is on like know, the rolling. Not only was that out, your dry leather skin's out. Hey guys, what's yeah. up? Waiting in line for my in and out order. <laughs> Woke up to my interview with Rolling Stone out. <laughs> Says Rock Control. This is on. I love these like like face these whatever these filters are. They never work right. You're blinking in and out of reality all the, all the time. Rock Control. Woke up to my interview with Rolling Stone out. <laughs> Says Rock Control. This is on like the Rolling Stone homepage. Can't. Oh, one second. Okay, this was on the Rolling Stone homepage. Uh, which is like. Look at look at her right here. Look how fucking stupid cool. you look. I was really excited. So, anyways, I did this interview with them. It's gonna be in hard copy. Like you can go get it at like Barnes and Noble. I don't know when it comes out, but I'm super excited. He goes, no, I love a physical copy of something. Obviously, I get excited anytime anybody wants to interview me or photograph me. But I was super excited about this one because this picture right here, um, <laughs> it was kind of my idea. They're like, we just want you like casual in your home, and I'm like, oh, can we do the Britney Spears <laughs> Rolling Stone cover? So that's what this is. Um, and then we had a really great photographer. She thought this little like teacup for like you know. If you know, you know. Yeah, no, we don't. We're going to hop on to something else here. Okay, I wasn't going to do another. There is. God damn it. She switched seats. Right? No, it's just flipped. I'm always getting fucked over by, you know, the fact that she does different perspectives. So here's the entire hall right here. This is what we call a hall of food. We didn't get to see, like, you know, I didn't get to see, like, how thick and far down this went. She's already got her car covered in cockroach skin. That's that's bug mark. Another video, but I have to say these are the best cheese fries I've ever had. It in that crunch. Okay, so we've seen this. Already seen it. Here she is gobbling down this burger. She probably ate part of the plastic. That's part of the process. You know, God's plan. Oh God, her chunks are out. Here's here's right what here. I ate in a week. Las All right, Las Vegas style fucking so obesity. Here's God what damn I ate it! In a week, Las Vegas edition. So we had to stop at Sugar Factory first and foremost. Edition. Look at, the, look at look at this shit. I mean, the baby is just swimming in a sea of diabetic fucking sludge. The baby's in there like can't even get a breath. I mean, I've said it before. I think the kid's pinned up against the lining of her stomach. It has broken the barrier where the, the the baby's at, and now the baby's getting like you know flooded with food every day. So this is everything she ate in Vegas, which she ate everything in Vegas. She should have worded that better. She should have wrote, "I ate everything in Vegas." What I ate in a week, Las Vegas edition. So we had to stop at Sugar Factory first and oh foremost. My God, we I had to get the macaroons. These are the most disgusting, weird-looking macaroons I've seen in my life. One and a half year old daughter came on. The Oh, okay. Are those burgers or macaroon? What is this, SpongeBob burgers? Those trips I knew she'd enjoy. Hello. All the pretty colors, and this is totally her type of food. And okay, round one. So she's already had fucking ten burgers. She's had dessert for, you know, appetizer. Okay, that's, it looks like it says the N-word on that duck. Uh, she had this whole plate of fixins. All the pretty colors. And you know, cheese balls, buffalo tenders. Celery wasn't touched. Okay, ramekins of sauce. She drank that separately. Onion rings, chicken uh, tenders. Totally. Her okay, now we're having, you know, ragatuti. I don't know what this is. Mac and cheese with bread. Food and mom was too. I got this creamy chicken penne pasta, which mm. was okay, but it was nothing. God, can't be this. This is what Trisha's all. This is, this is like her life is like 
kind of evolved around balls of fried cheese. Comparison to these fried mac and cheese balls. Oh my God. The actual quality of the mac and cheese inside the friedness. Oh God, you know, and Trisha has been known to like burn her fucking mouth every time she eats food. Uh, somebody wrote on here, you're the anti-almond mom I'm living for. That's what Hannah said. Cole said, of course I let her because she's a kid. So sweet. I'm letting my babies eat food that's not safe for them. That's something to, that you write in a book. They didn't say that, but I, you know, I re did the comments. It was so delicious. I gave it a 10 out of 10. Right, 10 the pasta 10. was really good as well, but you guys know I'm a little bit of a plowing through this food. Connoisseur. This is one day too. And I don't know. I don't know if it's because I'm seven months pregnant or what, but the creaminess just did not sit that well with me. So I didn't eat yeah, that much. Sure. You know, you ate the whole fucking thing. You look like you ate the whole thing. This is in the face of somebody that didn't eat the whole thing. But the first two bites were enjoyable. Okay, so she's biting into the glass. She thought it was edible cup. Then we got the unicorn frozen. Look at her knuckles, dude. Her knuckles are fucking straight beaten to pulps. Pregnant or what? But the creaminess just did not sit that oh well with God. me. Oh so I didn't no, that don't much, like it. Two bites were enjoyable. Okay, look at look at look at these mother. What you do? What have you been punching the walls or something? Trisha, your hands constantly look like you're in an infection zone. Look at her, dude. You look like a fucking kid right here. Like our biggest, fattest, retard kid. Then we got the unicorn frozen hot chocolate. We ordered. Oh my god! Okay, this doesn't look like the face of somebody that had an upset stomach. Enjoyable. Then we got the unicorn frozen hot chocolate. We ordered pink, but they came out blue, so we said we take both. But the pink. Yeah, we'll take both. Okay, so it wasn't we; it was Trish. Was definitely we'll take the both. Hit. This is what my daughter saw on the menu, and she points at it and she said, "Mine, mine, mine." And luckily. Okay, so luckily Trisha was nice and let her have one thing. She didn't have too much of this, but she did have a little bit of a sugar high where she was running around. Oh god, what I would do if Malibu. Just knock that thing but over. But she dipped her fingers in and... Look, look, Trisha's trying to pull it away. It's too heavy. Of course I let her because she's a kid. And that's what you do. And also mommy enjoyed this too, so... Yeah, mom's just eating it like a fucking sandwich. You have the same taste buds, me and my toddler. <laughs> then it was late at night. Jesus so Christ! Pizza. We stayed at Harris Las Vegas. And downstairs they have this really good pizza place that's open till like 3 a.m. You know, and I could just see Moses over in the corner like... His eyes are this big. He's just watching her from like the opposite side of the room. She's just over there. She's unstoppable at this point. Moses is walking through the casino with this big pizza. He said everyone was stopping him and literally offering him like $100 for this pizza. No, they weren't. Okay. And then what would have happened if you would have fucking sold it to him? Trisha would have fucking threw him out the window. Just so good. And it hit so good late at night in Vegas. This is Skim Swim Suit. Sweat. That's a that is the biggest slice I've ever seen in my life, and there's like twenty more pieces to go. That's huge. Literally offering him like a hundred dollars for this pizza. It's just so good, and it hits so good late at night in Vegas. This is skim swimsuit, sweatsuit. Sorry, and it was a super. Yeah, I'm sure it was super covered with pizza afterwards. Super comfy, but yeah, that pizza. Mm. Then we went to Ruth's Chris Steakhouse because on. <laughs> God, they went to a steakhouse after this. March 14th was our 40th anniversary of meeting, so we decided to have a cute little date night. My mom watched Malibu, and look how gorgeous this view was. Again, this is in Harris, and it was absolutely amazing. You know, how did Trisha just, like, not be able to fit her clothes, like, by, like, the second day of the eating? The bread was superb. This is by far my favorite steakhouse officially now. I never thought I would say that, but, yeah, it surpasses Mastro's, Capital Grill, and all that, and you'll see why in just a second, but that bread, mm. The crab cakes came out boiling, sizzling, and... Okay, yeah, you know she drank this straight from the boil. Butter, 500-degree plates. They warn you all the time to not touch them. Yeah, and she went ahead. She couldn't keep her... She couldn't resist. And it was so good. Each bite was so warm so butter look at, look at the way she's eating she's like i mean her teeth are about to melt out of her face oh my god this was my food so hot i was just i was in heaven lately nothing's been tasting good this pregnancy i don't know the past like yeah well i mean if you clog your fucking tongue with a hundred different treats all day your shit ain't nothing's gonna have a taste None. anymore my taste buds were not hitting and these were hitting then i got the filet we were in a little bit of a hurry so they did a butterfly and they got this out in 20 minutes because we butterfly. had to see a donny osmond show but these no, we got enough butter. We got enough butter. Speaking of butter, this thing's been injected with butter. Oh, like butter mashed potatoes. <laughs> it was just so delicious. It's everything I needed and more. I had to wolf this down, but I enjoyed every single bite. Not a problem. Let me tell you, this was like the best dinner I've had. Like that's why when she went to the Donny Osmond experience, she broke her costume. If you look at her in this, what is that? <laughs> 
What was that? Oh, he's gone. I just saw some old ass geezer. We go to the Donny Osmond experience. She's like, she broke the fucking buttons on the shirt. Her stomach was so expanded. It was looking like, you know, her stomach was looking like an igloo on the side. Okay. Round. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, we'll just go to that. We're, now, we are going to watch a video of her, like, hardly being able to move. Her ankles are swollen to high heavens, you know, after the eating experience. We'll go to Trisha's chant or Instagram right quick. Here she is, you know, after fucking day, one day of eating everything. Broke the suit. Okay, they, Trisha had to get a whole new outfit for this bullshit because she couldn't fit it. And then she covered it with, like... Like a skin tone, like elastic thing because her stomach. I mean, dude, I bet he was like, whoa, he probably almost got pushed out of the picture because of her fat gut. She's like, he's probably like, you know, he's hardly in frame right now. It's hard enough to fit his arm around her, her whole back, which it isn't not even close to touching the other side. Okay. And, and I think Donny Osmond's, I think he's grown tired of Trisha. You know, at this point, I'm surprised he doesn't have a fucking restraining order. Probably all year. Just a thousand out of ten. The service was amazing. Everyone was great. Then we went to White Castle. This was a... Jesus Christ. Stop on the way up. This was in like a little like gas station. I've actually had never had White Castle before. This is a stop on the way up. So they haven't even fucking left for Vegas yet. They just ate a bunch of food before. You guys know I'm a sucker for... Look, there's... Trisha's... You got a sucker for having a button up here. What the fuck is this? The butt. The button. I like to call that the button. Trisha's button. This red mark. What happens when you push it? Fast food, especially cute little packaging. The burgers were so tiny. The buns were really good. The patty. Like they probably, she probably went to Mexico, got Ozempic injected in the wrong spot. And they haven't, you know, she doesn't have the money to get it carved out yet. It's just okay. It felt a little flimsy, but it was still fun because I see this all the time. And he says she barely chews. She, uh, she should be eating, uh, should she be eating steak? How would you give anybody with the yeah? If Trisha, imagine trying to give Trisha the Heimlich maneuver. You'd have to lay her on her back and have ten people pick up the table and drop it on her stomach. Now the baby's right in the way of that, so there is no saving her because you'd kill the kid. Then of course you know. But like if Trisha started choking, there ain't no. You better hope to God you have like you know some type of alien gray up in there, an alien with a slender arm. That can just go down her throat, pull out the burgers. I had to get cheese fries, the crinkle cut. Otherwise, she choked it. Arby's death. girly, so the crinkle cut fries weren't as good as Arby's, but still pretty good. Look, okay, she is annoyed with food at this point. She won't stop eating, but she's annoyed with food. We went back. This is the second night, so this is. The and she can't stop it. This is the second fucking trip she's taken down here. The second time of the night, like she said, she's gone down here twice within the past two hours. Getting the same dinner. Tonight, my mom and I wanted to go see Donnie, but together as a family, we went back to Ruth's Chris because I was just craving all this food yeah, once again. Craving. So I had the crab cakes, I had the filet, butterfly, same, everything. Oh, just so. Look at that's That's Monique style dancing. You ever seen fat chicks doing like a, whenever they have like a sandwich or like, you know, a good cupcake, they be, okay, they be fucking rocking out to a meal. Okay, this is this is partying for Trish. The same everything. Oh, just mm. so. Oh, and then the way she like did that, her whole arm just went inside the fat of her chest. Oh, good. It's a splurge, but hey, we it's didn't like, oh, God, damn. Which is really affordable, so we Now, what if she laid back and like chocolate goo came from the ceiling and it just went right in her mouth? Okay. I even got it edited on Lobster Tail and it was. Yeah, 444 says she's posing that uh, poisoning or. You know, that poor kid with White Castle. Now, I would hope that Malibu wasn't allowed to have any of this shit here. Moses kept her on a strict diet of uh, beans or whatever the, the baby food. Is she still eating baby food? How old is Malibu? She could be 14 by now. And Trisha's terrible fucking diet. And like, you know, just fucked her up. She's malnutrition. She's so, so delicious. She won't grow. Delicious, and I loved it so much. But the mashed potatoes always takes the cake. Oh, and okay. even the lobster mac and cheese really, really hit. And dessert, we have... Smacking, whatever that is. 
but butter at the bottom, ketchup on the side. Had this chocolate cake, but this, ooh, banana cream pie. Get it if you go. I'm still dreaming about it. Oh my Jesus Christ. This is my best scissor ever. We finished off at a dim sum place. Oh, this is an overview of the food. And I have a full video of the dim sum, so if you want to see more of that. But this is at Palette Tea Lounge in Vegas. It was a little bit off the strip, but worth it. So How many days was she here? She could have only been here for like two days. She must have just ate... Like, you know, she made herself sick. She probably hospitalized herself after all the snacks. Stay tuned for that full-length eating video. Love you guys. Mwah. All right. Now, you know, I'm sure she was eating during the process of making this. So, so here it is. So if you know anything about me. Here's Trisha. If you know anything about her, you know too much. You know, I never leave. I hope that they, I really hope they show the crowd here. I want to see the geezers in here. The house, especially since having this isn't as big as it, it looked like. She made this shit look like a fucking Justin Bieber concert. There's like five people up in here. Being seven months pregnant with our second, but this was an event we were. <laughs> look, you can already see people in wheelchairs. <laughs> this is Donny Osmond's dying crowd. Being seven months pregnant with our second. Look, look, there's somebody, somebody's moving Here's the wheelchair. What I, so Fuck, so God you damn it. Me, right no, here, look, 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 look. I, I just hearted this shit. There's a person right here with their fucking wheelchair, okay? They're pushing it. There's nobody in it. It's their chair. They're making sure the fucking wheels are greased. The house, especially since having kids and being seven oh, months pregnant for a second. But this okay, and then there's already somebody over here. Somebody thinking they're going to fucking... They're charging their batteries. Okay, they're thinking Donny Osmond's going to come out of the men's restroom anytime soon. This is an event we are not to miss. Donny Osmond was hosting a spring break in Vegas, and this is my kind of spring break. Look at these geckers, dude. This lady's literally dead right now. <laughs> they got her propped up. This lady's got two left feet. This is amazing. Break. It's also the first spring break I've ever been. Look at her. <laughs> this is Trisha later on in life. Look how mad they all think they have a chance with Donny Osmond's. Too. He had a Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor dream coat sing along, walking up and seeing all this candy and all this rain. Yeah, this guy's like, oh shit, he got he's in the wrong spot right now. And Trisha shows up, there's candy in front of her. Dream coat sing along. You know, he's in the shrapnel zone. Trisha busts through that, explodes like a grenade, glass everywhere, goes right in his eyes. Trisha's just got to get a couple of M&Ms. Walking up and seeing all this candy and all this rainbow colored things, I was super excited. I kind of missed an opportunity to bring my rainbow Birkin, but oh my gosh, these cupcakes had Donnie's Oh my God, Donnie's Joseph sing-along. Is Donnie gay? On it. Joseph was one of my favorite musicals growing up. It like impacted my life so much. It's still my favorite musical to this day. We had a cute little table reserved and I was so excited. Oh my God, she's got her Donnie Osmond decaled purse. Day, we had a cute little table reserved and I was so excited because- I mean, Look at her over here. In in the dark fucking yelping honestly i don't think i could have fit in those chairs because my belly oh. okay, so yeah of course you couldn't fit anywhere so she had to stand up it was huge, so the booth was perfect i felt like totally with belonging with all of the people because everyone was in costume and everyone was excited to see everyone's costume we didn't even know it was a costume contest we just knew it was a dress-up thing and it was just a fun vibe to get to sing along oh my god the full Donny Osmond. What is this shit? Is this on Donny Osmond's website? <laughs> so Donny, he had, there's a, we'll have to watch this tomorrow. Donny's got his, <laughs> he's like wearing like some type of African coat or something. What is, oh my God, we, we're going to have to watch this. The full Donny Osmond thing experience sing along show is on, uh, Oh, look. Look at that. Wouldn't you know? Donnie's wife and his YouTube channel. His wife makes him share a channel. Dude, his wife be looking fucking like she has more gums than teeth. Looking like Chrissy Marr. His wife be like, <laughs> look at her. <laughs> look at her. Oh, dude, this is awesome. And you know Trisha be fucking salty because he goes for that over her. You know, I don't want to shit on the Mrs. Osmond, but, you know, she's in a line of fire right now. A line of fire. Look at Donnie's wife. Those gums, dude. And Donnie be looking fucking 90 right there. I bet his, his hair paint just gets all over her skin anytime he leans up on her. And he still wouldn't touch Trish. No fucking way.
He's like, get away from me, you fat bitch. And everyone was excited to see everyone's costume. We didn't even know it was a costume contest. We just knew it was a dress-up thing. And it was just a fun vibe to get to sing along. And here's your outfit. I was Joseph from the end. And Lava says, I really want to see Moses' old friend's reaction. Uh, him watching these videos, his Burning Man friends, dude. They probably, I'm talking like, they probably get high as fuck on it. You know, they take some SID, some LSD drop some acid and he like really freaks them out because he's like guys guess what i got on the projector right now me and trisha's vlogs they're like okay and then it becomes like the funniest night of their life this is all our goodies and my Donny Osmond bag. Every time I met him, I think this is about the 14th or 15th time I met him. He's literally the sweetest, nicest, most humble celebrity you'll ever meet. Oh my God. I'm sure he is. Does he come in like on a, like a rope or something? It's time to have conversations with you. What is this? I can't wait to watch this you. tomorrow. He's great. What is, why does this guy have a lightsaber? The show opened and I wanted to play the actual music for you guys. Oh my God. <laughs> The show opened, and I wanted to play the actual music. <laughs> Look at his little skeleton legs, looking like fucking uh, what's that guy's name on the Ethan the the Jersey Outlaw right now? You guys, but I think TikTok doesn't allow it or something. You know, I imagine he's up there, oh, 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 like whatever Elvis does. Oh, 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 and Trish is over there. This is like going to see Ozzy Osbourne for her. Open, and I wanted to play the actual music dude, for you guys. Rocking out, dude. Look at him right here. <laughs> Is he gay? Not them going to Party City and purchasing all the gay pride party supplies. Trisha Price shoved them all up her ass, too. Price, but I think TikTok doesn't allow it or something like that. This I made the fellers pull it out. Moses is asleep. Moses is fucking straight X'd out, dude. This motherfucker took, like, as much drugs as he could buy in the elevator before coming back in here to, like, greet Trisha for the night. This motherfucker's ODing right now. He's fucking dead. <laughs> like, he is not having a good time either. I love, like, any shot of Moses, you know, when he doesn't really realize Trisha's filming him, too. Because you, like, you get it. You get the real reaction. This motherfucker, he is not having a good time. He came in looking like a fucking Power Ranger. Donny as Pharaoh. He's going to be Pharaoh in Scotland this December. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited to see it. I'm going to find a way to get over there. Then he came... <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> Look at their legs. Can I do this slow motion? Is there any way I could slow mo this? Oh man, dude! I'm so excited to see it. I'm gonna find a way to get Look over their there. Legs. Look at the leg. Look at their legs. Oh my gosh! I'm so excited to see it. I'm gonna find a way to get over there. Then he came out in the dream. I'd imagine Donny Osmond's whole foot would fl fucking just fall off. He's so old. It's probably screwed on. How it just was a really magical experience, and all of our inner children no were way. screaming. Look now, if he fell off the stage, I'd be fucking down there. Just oh my god, I'd take all his money. I'd take all his money, dude. Donnie's like a fucking rock star. These grandmothers got all their phones out. <laughs> they got their fucking GoPros or live streaming this. Sh this shit's on Twitch.com. Everybody, they're all, all these, all these single ladies, their husbands probably died. And like, this is all they got. They're part of the Donny Osmond. What do they call them? The Oswalds? The group that follows the, the Donny? Okay. Then he came out in the dream coat. It just wasn't really mad. Then you got this guy. This guy right here with that green saber. Magical experience and all. He wants to do dirty things to Donny. Donny's fucking looking like some type of like, you know, cult leader right All now. Inner children were I'd imagine he's like, Rah! I mean, dude, this is too much too spinning. That's a lot of spins for Donnie. Screaming. Look at Surprise. <laughs> Donnie just still having it after all these years. Yeah, he was right. singing a little outro. Yeah. Oh, God damn, I keep liking the video. He doesn't, you know, he doesn't have his hair. That's a fucking cap. And this was such a great experience. Oh, and by the way, did I mention <laughs> we won the costume? Of course he did. He knows Trish is back here. He won't look that direction. He's like, because he really, really hopes that, like, Trisha do just doesn't come back anymore. You know, he's really pissed off. He probably fucking straight up molly wops, you know, Moses every time he sees him. When Trisha turns her shit, he punches him right in the stomach. He's like, keep your wife away from me. I've had enough. It's fucking bullshit, bro. Contest. Here's him singing. <laughs> 
And this is the little trophy we got. I was so excited and it was such a great experience. Thank you, Donnie and Harris. Yeah, cool. Thank you, Donnie. All right. I'm done for the night guys. I'm done. Uh, I can't wait to watch that Donnie Osmond experience. It's going to be great. I mean, I'm hoping that it doesn't suck. I really hope I now it could be copyright. You know, I have to be careful. But I do kind of like, you know, want to watch a couple, a couple of the dance numbers, people dancing around. That'll be fun to break down Donnie's old, like his moves for an old guy. And then we can see Trisha stomping up on the stage. All right. I love you guys. Um, we should be back Friday, I think. I don't want to say tomorrow. I am, though. I am excited. I do want to see the Donnie Osmond, you know, experience. Anywho, I love you all. Have a good one, and I shall see you in the next one. Goodbye.